Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Thursday, September 5th, 2013. Well, a continuation of the trend to the upside today and a candle that's made a higher high and a higher low in line with the previous uh, three trading days. For the previous day's trading we had a very bullish candle, a uh, very strong upside momentum in net terms and today a lot of that momentum has evaporated with this very small body at the end of this strong first time frame uptrend. Very large shadow on the top of this candle suggesting there is a very strong possibility of a change of trend. And this is uh, very similar to a, a potential shooting star reversal pattern and uh, that's where we have a small body that's uh, basically gapped away from the previous body with this large shadow on the top and it's like a star shooting across the sky and the shadow on the top represents very strong price rejection. Now importantly the uh, market has now uh, tested above the uh, window that was opened and therefore officially closed the window. It was mainly closed for the previous day's trading but there was price rejection from that area today the market tested above there interestingly the market has failed to close above the window so that is still holding as an area of resistance and is still important for this market but with it being closed its importance is diminished uh, uh, to a minor degree um, interestingly the market has tested exactly to the top of the cloud and has been rejected from there as well and that suggests that there is potential for a change of trend and that's an area that we highlighted yesterday as very very important resist and also as potentially strong resistance. Now in terms of the uh, Fibonacci extension and here today we've seen the market interact with the 161.8% level and being rejected from there with the uh, sellers failing to take control of this market and uh, the buyers have, uh, sorry, the, with the buyers failing to take control of this market and the buyers have uh, taken a weak amount of control uh, regardless of the fact that the uh, buyers have made a small amount of net bullish progress on the day but the important thing here is the rejection from this area and does set the market up for a change of trend back to the downside. Obviously we will be looking for confirmation of that change of trend so we don't act until we see that and that would be a candle with a lower high and lower low and there is every likelihood that that will occur. Also in terms of the Fibonacci retracement, uh, again testing to or just beyond the 161.8%, rejected in a fairly negative manner, setting the market up for a potential change of trend. Now in terms of Ichimoku, uh, obviously uh, the market maintains its uh, uh, neutral bias in the big picture terms by trading within the cloud so no clear direction in this market in the long term time frame and uh, perhaps a uh, transition coming back to the upside if the market can break out in a bullish manner above the cloud but uh, we can't preempt the market and looking at the way that uh, the short term dynamics are reading it looks as though there's a good possibility of a change of trend to the downside uh, the market maintains its negative stance or bearishness in the medium term time frame by trading below the Kijun but that Q Jensen is still pointing flat so still a possibility of the market trading um, to the upside and attempting to find equilibrium in that medium term time frame and test back to the Q Jensen but uh, with the strong resistance overhead not likely uh, but uh, the market is maintaining its bullish uh, bias in the short term time frame by trading up above the Tenkan Sen, the green line here and uh, with the weakness in this market however it's likely that the market may come off but we should be watching the Tenkan Sen as potential support and that's at 16.48 so let's watch that if the market does trade lower. So moving forward a very strong resistance overhead for this market uh, crucial uh, to this market trading higher will be the area at the top of the cloud which now uh, for the next trading day will extend up to around the 16.62 level uh, the high of this current candle may offer itself as strong resistance as well. Uh, the area around uh, uh, 1654 and just below the bottom of the window uh, will be important if the market is going to trade lower. Uh, potentially strong support at the Tenkan Sen around 1648 and then if the market does come off we have very very solid support down around 1629. But uh, the short term dynamics here are favouring a uh, change of trend uh, so we are looking for a potential lower high and lower low.